It's wonderful to be finally able to meet you. I'm sorry that we couldn't meet earlier, but I didn't know which hospital you were admitted to. Is it rest time? That's okay. Thank you for taking the time off from your busy schedule to visit me. No, there's no scheduled rest time. Hot meals are served three times a day, so it's better than being at home. Do the doctors visit you on their rounds? How old are you? About 86, 87 years old? Yes, they do rounds. When I was first admitted to the hospital, I couldn't stand up and move at all, but I'm getting better and better with rehabilitation. I'm little older than that. I might forget to eat sometimes, but never forget to study and practice karate. Karate should be done with flexibility and speed. It can only be done by you and not by others, otherwise it isn't karate. When I was training in karate, there was a man named Yamakawa. He was an expert in karate and was training in Shuri. Although Yamakawa's kata was quite good, he didn't turn his koshi in Sanchin kata. Sanchin requires that you be able to move at any moment, like a mortar and pestle. You must be able to use your hips freely. You're right. I think you are the oldest person in the karate community today. Am I the oldest? When I was working for this company, I was on my way home from work when I came to Tamari Bridge, where a drunk was wandering around. I avoided him and... As I was passing by, I was suddenly tapped on the shoulder from behind. I instinctively struck him in the testicles, and he collapsed, quivering in pain. He looked like a sturdy guy. I'm always be aware of my surroundings and use attack as defense. There really are no defensive postures in karate. I was once taught a technique by a woman. It was a something that even you guys couldn't handle. I wouldn't teach it to anyone unless they were serious. She was from Tamari and lived in the house two doors down from mine. I had a student named Maeda Yoshimasa. He was a good man. Oh, you're talking about the same Maeda who's in Yayama now. I heard that he was a very honest person. He went back to Naha, right? He was living in the Yamashita district in Oroku at that time, wasn't he? Oh, that's right. He built a house on reclaimed land in Onoyama and lived there with his kids. They were all very smart. Were he and Henzan Ryozen on good terms? Henzan had a good attitude towards karate, but Maida was more consistent. How you think about karate is so important in training. He must be in Yayama now. He seems to have gone back and forth between Yayama and Naha. He was also good at Okinawa sumo, but I used to warn him not to do too much sumo. He worked in Yayama, in the forestry office. When I worked at the prefectural office, I often visited him on my business trips to Yayama. We talked about you many times. I didn't know that. When I was younger, I taught him when he was in elementary school. He came from a good family that was known all over for having handsome boys. Maida did not like fighting and was a good man. By the way, avoiding conflict is what karate is all about. You should never talk about who is the stronger fighter. You must understand that well. Karate is about human development. It's so important to raise respectable members of society, and whether someone is stronger or weaker shouldn't matter. A martial artist should focus human development, teach people to overcome hardship. But he had a simple personality, too. Maeda was younger than you, right? I think he's about 80 years old now. I pray for his good health. The purpose of Carrot is to make good people, not to create someone who is just good fighters. He didn't drink a lot, and one day I asked him to pour me one. When he did... He only offered me one and didn't drink a single drop himself. I agree. People who don't understand the true essence of karate and don't train their mind and body are the ones who tend to be arrogant. 
That's what I think. When we were young, people always said that a healthy person is a warrior. Nowadays, I don't think young people understand the true meaning of that. When I first started practicing, I didn't do karate straight away. Instead, I did seated meditation for six months purely for mental discipline. Only Mr. Tokushiki and his peers understand what we're talking about. There is a karate teacher who is a heavy drinker, but someone like that isn't a martial artist. There's nothing more you can really say about that. I had a grudge with a man before, and if I had let my emotions get the best of me, I might have attacked him. My father told me that at a martial arts demonstration, Funakoshi Gitchin held three three-centimeter boards for you to break, and you also snapped three ropes tied around his hands. When I was in elementary school, I saw you break eight strands of wire wrapped around your stomach. How old were you when you did that? How old was I? When I think back, it was just my youthful spirit. The karate way is not to break things. You were known as a good fighter. Was there anyone stronger than you? Miyahira Masahide could hit the Makiwara three times harder than me. In those days he had a 40-inch chest and was 5 feet 2 inches tall, and I was 5 feet 4 inches tall. I was taller than most people back then. On a different note, I once told Fukuchi to live a long life with a clear mind. Aside from improving our karate, we should also try to live a long life while educating our students. That was Fukuchi Seko, right? I asked Fukuchi, do you snore? And he said, yeah, I guess I do. It reminds me of a story I heard from me. Tokshi, a moxibustion therapist, when he was working in a sugar factory. When he asked a co-worker if he snored, the man replied, yes. So he warned him, you shouldn't work on high scaffolding, but he laughed and shrugged it off. Later, the man fell off the scaffold and died. People may think it's not true, but sometimes you have to listen to what others say. I still believe what he said to me. He was a big, tall man and his storytelling skills were amazing. He also did palmistry, and he was able to accurately predict almost everything. He was an amazing person. This reminds me of a proverb I learned from him. If you value every word you say, you will never regret your actions. If you act with sincerity in this fleeting world, you will not be led astray. There is always another path to take. He was also good at breeding Japanese bush warblers and white-tailed warblers, and he taught me a lot about them. But Mr. Sakiyama was even better at raising them than him. Students need to pursue an education and cultivate a strong physique. We need to develop of capable students who can pass down proper karate to future generations. Remember that the purpose of the basic kata sanchin, tensho, and naihanchi is to train proper posture to harmonize the breath and to develop a strong physique and martial spirit. We shouldn't forget this. That's a good way of saying it. Besides you and your students, are there any other teachers who are more familiar with Tamari tea? You also said that a certain teacher's Tamari tea was wrong. I can tell you for sure that there is no one else as familiar with Tamari tea as me. That person's Tamari tea is amateurish, so I don't want to make a big deal about it. When we were young, I taught students, but since I was working at the time, I couldn't teach as much as I wanted. Funakoshi once asked me to teach him. I think he was still a teacher in Tamari at that time. He asked me many times. He was on the short side, but very polite. I wonder who was taller, Fukuchi or Funakoshi. I think they were about the same height. Funakoshi was 91 years old when I met him in Tokyo, but his memory was not so good. I don't mean to be rude, 
but you're 89 years old and have a great memory. They say that the older you get, the more forgetful you become, but your memory has hardly changed at all. You remember the past well. I asked Sensei about Hagana once, and he had a good recollection of him. He was a short man, wasn't he? That's right. He was on the short side, wasn't he? When Yagi Maito came to my house, he asked me about his whereabouts, but I didn't know. According to a story from Haige Seko, Higana's son was running a barber shop. Come to think of it, Higana's son did have a barber shop. I hope you all continue to be active and healthy leaders in the karate community for a long time. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to come and visit me. Take care of yourselves and continue to do your best to promote karate in Okinawa. Thank you very much for today. Today I was able to meet you and listen to your stories, which were very enlightening for me. I pray that you will continue to live a long and healthy life.